Hello all. Welcome to today's class on the analysis of LTI system using Laplace transform. Till last class we have seen how can we analyze an LTI system that is described by a differential equation as well as how to apply the properties of the Laplace transform that is particularly the differentiation property of Laplace transform and find out the transfer function from it and the method to find out differential equation from the transfer function. So till last class what we have dealt is the differential equations with zero initial conditions. In today's class we will be dealing with the differential equations and the solution of the differential equations that is provided with the initial conditions. So let's move on to our topic that is how to solve a differential equation given the initial conditions. If the initial conditions are given, then that must be also included while taking the Laplace transform of the differential equation as follows. That is the Laplace transform of dy by dt is equal to s into y of s minus y of 0 minus. This is actually capital Y of s and this is small y of 0 minus. So this is the initial condition y of 0 minus. So this is a case when the initial conditions are specified. The last class we have seen how to solve the differential equation with zero initial condition. In that case, we just took whenever we saw dy by dt, it's Laplace as s into y of s. This particular terms were not there. Same way, if suppose d square y by dt square is given, then it will be of the form s square y of s minus s into small y of 0 minus minus y dash of 0 minus. Same way, d cube y by dt cube, it will become in the till the last class it was only s cube y of s, but while initial conditions are given, it becomes s cube y of s minus s square y of 0 minus minus s y dash of 0 minus minus y double dash of 0 minus. Same way for d raised to n by dt raised to n, there will be some n plus 1 terms if the initial conditions are given. So these initial conditions that is y of 0 minus y dash of 0 minus and y double dash of 0 minus. They are nothing but they meant that the system's initial conditions are given just before the input is applied to the system. Just before you are applying the input to the system, these conditions are already prevailing in the system. Whereas if the notation is y of 0 plus, then it indicates that the initial condition is given to the system after the input is applied. So that is the difference between y of 0 minus and y of 0 plus. Usually we take this as the practical case y of 0 plus cannot be achieved in reality that is it is not realistic if suppose the initial condition is y of 0 plus same way we can apply the initial conditions to the input also that is for dx of dx by dt if suppose it is given then initially we just had s into x of s but if you are given with the initial condition then you have to include that particular term also in the equation of the Laplace transform form. So finally we can say that the solution of differential equation consists of mainly two components. The first component is called the force response or the zero state response and the second component is called the natural response or the zero input response. So as the name suggests we can say that force response is when the initial conditions are assumed to be zero and it is a response only due to the input that is we will take into consideration only the factor of input. We will consider that the contribution of the initial conditions is equal to 0 and that is usually denoted by y f of s. Same way natural response it is just the opposite of force response in this case the input is assumed to be 0 and the response will be entirely due to the initial conditions and it is denoted by y n of s this n means natural same way here this f means it is for forced. So we can say that a differential equations total response it is composed of mainly two components that is force response plus natural response or force response is otherwise called as zero state response natural response is otherwise called as zero input response hope it's clear now let's move on to some problems that utilize the initial conditions the question is a certain system is described by the differential equation d square y by dt square plus 7 dy of t by dt plus 12 y of t is equal to x of t 
Use Laplace transform to determine the response of the system to unit step input applied at t is equal to 0. Assume initial conditions are y of 0 minus is equal to minus 2 and dy by dt of y of 0 minus that is this is y dot of 0 minus is equal to 0. We had already seen here that is it will consist of the terms like this is the first derivative and this is the second derivative. So this is what is being given. This is nothing but dy dy by dt of 0 minus and this is d square y by dt of 0 minus. That is what this dot and double dot represents. It is the double differentiation and a single differentiation. So that is what is being given in the question and we will see how we can proceed it. We will take the Laplace transform on both the sides of the equation. We already know how to take the Laplace transform when the initial condition was assumed to be 0 but here we have to include the initial conditions that is being given. So for d square y of t by dt that is the first term over here. Initially we used to only give s square into y of s but here it is not the case. Here you have to include the initial conditions also. So this particular term it will be converted to this form that is s square y of s minus s y of 0 minus minus y dash of 0 minus. This is the format of y of s or the Laplace transformed version when the initial conditions are specified. And you can see how the next term will be. Next term is 7 dy of t by dt. Before we used to only make it as 7s into y of s. But here you have to take into consideration the initial conditions also. So it becomes 7s y of s minus 7 y of 0 minus. And the next term is 12 into y of t. 12 into y of t, we just have to write it as 12 into y of s. Because these conditions will be applied only if there is a derivative term in the time domain. So it becomes 12 into y of s is equal to x of s. So this is how you write the Laplace transformed version provided you are given with the initial conditions. In the next step what we do is that we will combine all the y of s terms. You can pick it up from here. This is the first term. This is the second term and this is the third term that includes this y of s. So it becomes s square plus 7s plus 12 into y of s plus you have to substitute for y dash of 0 minus and y of 0 minus. The value of y of 0 minus and y dash of 0 minus is already given. The value of y of 0 minus is nothing but minus 2. So here you will put it as minus 2 into s. Here it becomes minus 2 into s that is minus 2s and here also it becomes minus 7 into minus 2. So it becomes 2s plus 14 and y dash of 0 minus it is given as 0. So this term becomes 0. Just that you will apply instead of this y of 0 minus you will give the value as minus 2. So it becomes minus s into minus 2. So that is 2s. And here it is minus 7 into minus 2. So it becomes 14. So that is written over here 2s plus 14 after application of the initial conditions and x of s it is given that the input is unit step input here it is being given like this unit step input is applied so x of s will be the Laplace of unit step input which is equal to 1 by s so that 1 by s will be put here in the next step what we are doing is we are just rearranging the equation that is all these y of s terms are kept here this 2s plus 14 is taken to the RHS. So it becomes 1 by s minus 2s minus 14. In the next step we will factorize this particular equation as s plus 3 into s plus 4 into y of s and we will take the LCM over here. So it becomes minus 2s square minus 14s plus 1 whole divided by s. Next y of s. y of s is nothing but we will take these terms to the denominator side. So it becomes minus 2s square minus 14s plus 1 by s into this s plus 3 and s plus 4 will come to the denominator side and finally we can solve it by using our conventional partial fraction method as a1 by s plus a2 by s plus 3 plus a3 by s plus 4. In the next step we will take the LCM, we will cross multiply a1 with s plus 3 into s plus 4 we will cross multiply a2 with s into s plus 4 and we will cross multiply a3 with s into s plus 3 and for finding a1 we will put s is equal to 0 and we get a1 as 1 by 12 
Similarly, if you are putting S is equal to minus 3, we can find the value of A to S minus 25 by 3. And by putting S is equal to minus 4, we get A3 as 25 by 4. I think these steps are pretty much familiar with you. That's why I'm not going in depth with these simplification steps. I think you're familiar with all these kind of partial fraction simplification steps. Okay. And finally, we'll substitute for Y of S as We'll substitute for a1, a2 and a3 as 1 by 12 into 1 by s minus 25 by 3 into 1 by s plus 3 plus 25 by 4 into 1 by s plus 4. That is, we'll substitute in this equation. That is, we'll just substitute in this equation. So, it becomes of this form. And we'll take the inverse Laplace transform. The total response is obtained by taking the inverse Laplace transform as this is 1 by 12. 1 by s is nothing but u of t itself. And this is minus 25 by 3 into 1 by s plus 3. Its inverse is e raised to minus 3t. And 25 by 4 into 1 by s plus 4. 1 by s plus 4's inverse Laplace transform is e raised to minus 4t whole into u of t. So this is the total response that is obtained by taking the inverse Laplace transform. So that is how we perform a problem given the initial condition. In the next problem, we are asked to find out the zero state response, that is the forced response, the zero input response as well as the total response. So here it is given d square y of t by dt square plus 6 into dy of t by dt plus 8 into y of t is equal to dx of t by dt plus 3 into x of t. Given x of t is equal to u of t, y of 0 minus is equal to 1 and y dash of 0 minus is equal to 2. You are asked to find out the zero state response as well as the zero input response as well as the total response. So zero state response is nothing but here the initial conditions are assumed to be zero. So just that we will proceed as we proceeded in the previous sections. That is zero initial condition. So s square y of s plus x s y of s plus 8 into y of s is equal to s into x of s plus 3 into x of s. And this is the force response. So y of s will be denoted as y f of s is equal to s plus 3 into x of s. And it's given that x of t is u of t, that is unit step function. So x of s we can write it as 1 by s. So this x of s you can substitute this as 1 by s. And we can factorize this particular term, s square plus 6s plus 8. It can be factorized as s plus 2 into s plus 4. So substituting in this 1 and we will solve for y f of s as y f of s as s plus 3 by s into s plus 2 into s plus 4. We will proceed with the partial fraction method. We got the values of a1, a1, a2, a3 and we got yf of s as like this. 3 by 8 into 1 by s minus 1 by 4 into 1 by s plus 2 minus 1 by 8 into 1 by s plus 4. And we will take the inverse Laplace. We know 1 by s plus 2 means it is e raised to minus 2t. 1 by s plus 4 means it is e raised to minus 4t. Same way we can find out the natural response. Natural response means here an input is set to 0. That is RHS is set to 0. And for s square, d square by dt square, it is s square yn of s minus s yn of 0 minus minus yn dash of 0 minus plus this becomes 6 into s into yn of s minus 6 into yn of 0 minus and this is nothing but 8 into yn of s is equal to 0 because input is set to 0 and we will give the values of the initial condition that is already specified in the first part and we will write for yn of s as like this. We will solve using partial fraction. We got a1 and a2 and we get yn of s as 3 by s plus 2 minus 2 by s plus 4. And taking inverse we got 3 into e raised to minus 2t minus 2 into e raised to minus 4t u of t. So combining equations a and b that is the inverse Laplace transform of that is yf of t plus yn of t. We get the total response as like this. And we combine the common terms and finally we get the total response as y of t as 3 by 8 plus 11 by 4 e raised to minus 2t minus 17 by 8 e raised to minus 4t u of t. So that's all about the problems about solving of differential equation when the initial conditions are given. That's all. Thank you.